This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Wednesday, March 4th, and as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. So let's talk about INO a little bit. So I know Dave had put into, uh, into a PDF, it's in the day trade channel, uh, for basically the billion different variables that we had yesterday in INO. I mean, this thing just worked out to be such an absolutely perfect trade. And it wasn't even the trade itself. It was the fact that it literally encompassed every single thing that we talk about in classes, in traders exchanges, in, you know, in the chat. It just every little thing that we could possibly have talked about happened within that one trade. So obviously it's just... <laughs> It's so important that if you do, weren't in the chat yesterday afternoon that you do go back and you go to, you know, kind of look at that because, I mean, that trade within itself is just, like I said, I mean, I have no better word than encompasses everything that we constantly talk about. So, obviously, INO is going to be on our list for today. Can we stop? No, we can't stop. <laughs> but as we can see in the aftermarket, we started pushing and the volume itself, it, it, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, it was it was great. It wasn't anything too crazy, though. And as I was looking back from this morning, we definitely got some buy that was you know coming towards the top of things now coming into you know just recently we did get some uh, bid prints that came in at 850 but you have to understand the amount of buying that we saw coming in yesterday i know this might look like a lot but it's really not now i does still have to come down from it but at the same time it's just there is so much buying that's still in this and from what i've been watching this morning i'm not seeing that it even possible that all of it has gotten out so what we're going to be looking for is we wanted to hold a certain spot and if we look right here we have you know a pretty strong support level right at that 775. So that's really where I'm going to be looking for it to hold. Um, as, as we're coming back down, we can see there is a buying that's starting to come back in. You know, best case scenario is obviously at holding eight, but that 775 is just a very strong area for us to be looking at especially if the market opens we kind of get that sell-off coming in great spot to be looking for for a trigger so based off the buying that's still in here i'm still it still has the possibility plus it doesn't really make a lot of sense for them not to test 10 and kind of you know see where everyone's minds at see where retail is at so that's exactly what i'm going to be looking for coming into this morning with that next one apt so apt is Obviously, kind of, you know, in a downtrend from yesterday, but we have to understand something at 1850, at 20, at 21, 21, we didn't have as much as we would have liked to see, but all these areas, we still have a lot of buying that's up here above. So even though right now it's kind of trickling down, it's trickling down on basically nothing and a trigger back towards that upside. We have a ton of buying that's still up there and just wouldn't be possible for it to all be getting out with 274,000 shares coming into this morning. So let's definitely keep a close eye on that. What I'm going to be looking for is just a trigger back towards that upside. 1850 is going to be the first spot that I'm really looking at just because that's really where the, the majority of a bigger print kind of started yesterday. Um, so from that area, then obviously we'll get more information there. Now, just keep in mind, 1750 is a big, you know, longer term type level, you know, those 250s and the five. So at that area, we might see a bunch of games end up being played. So just once again, something to really, you know, to keep in mind as we're going in. Now, the prints themselves this morning, I don't see anything too special yet. So we need some type of show of hand. I'm really basing it based, you know, off the story from what we have from yesterday. But so once again, you know, we have to anticipate and be ready for what, you know, what the possibilities of what's going to happen, because as you guys can remember, Wednesdays have not been our best days. I mean, it's just, and when I say our best days, the volume and it's just kind of been a little bit slow as of recent. Um, so we want to keep that in mind coming into things. And just because the pre-market right now is a little bit slow doesn't, you know, obviously we're going to be expecting a bunch of high probability trades. But right now during the pre-market, we have to look for a lot more of kind of opportunities rather than the prints, because I just don't see a lot of those out there. Now, ZSAN, now this needs to fit your game plan as always, but we can see this morning, we had enough buying to get, if you remember on Friday, enough buying to get us up to that one level. Um, then Monday, Tuesday, I mean, we kind of, you know, floated around a little bit but now we can see that pop-up coming in and we just had a bunch of refreshing that was coming in at 119 you can see big orders out there so 120 right now definitely take a you know keep an eye on there and see if we start to get refreshing see we're down to 17.6 does that order change because otherwise it's just literally going to be an order being executed versus refreshing refreshing tells us that the stock is coming down a little bit then it's going to go back up and if it's just an order being executed it really could mean a 
bunch of different things. So refreshing is obviously the best case scenario. And as you can see right there, see how we were at 17.5, the order just popped back up. We started getting some more execution. So we are refreshing at that 120 level, the beautiful sign. Just remember, this is not gonna be a huge, well, I mean, it could be, but statistically speaking, and every all the variables out there are telling, telling us this isn't gonna be a huge mover. So you have to manage it in a lot smaller increments than you would on something you know, that like, you know, for instance, even INO. Next one is on our side list, COCP. So these two, uh, the, this stock, and then also I'm going to go over AIM in a second. Both of these, they're they're on our side list, and they're kind of on the bottom parts of it because once again, there's not a great amount of buying that came in towards these highs, you know, coming up to that 150. And I really was not a big fan of it just completely being rejected from that 150. But if we look at the actual pattern that it's sitting in, there's no reason that we can't get that buying to start coming in around that 130 area that we're at right now, and then push this thing back up to 150. But it just doesn't have it yet. Um, so that's why, I mean, obviously it needs to be on our side list. It's got a nice look to it, but it just doesn't have the substance that I really would like to see, especially in a stock that's, you know, at this point, $1.30. And then AIM, another one looking at this we can based off the personality that we're seeing coming into the pre-market we can actually expect a pretty decent move and when i say decent move i'm you know we're talking about 50 cents compared to the 17 cents that it on average usually trades but we've been seeing this pop up over and over and over again the only little concern that i do have come over here and just look at the 15 minute chart see this pattern that's coming in and we kind of got that breakout from the pattern already and a lot of times when we end up seeing that we come right back down so once again the prints aren't great i mean there there is some buying that's been coming in if we come back over here you can see around the 250 area right underneath there was some decent buying so we do have some above, up above just make sure that on something like this that the trigger is going to be extremely strong because it does you know it, it's going to take a lot and we're going to have to see a lot of volume to really get this thing pushing all not only to 250 but also you know to obviously we want to go above 250 so we need to see something coming in there to tell us a lot more um, and that's pretty much been the theme of the morning. I mean, you know, CODX, obviously, we're still going to continue to watch. Uh, you know, ABT, we were talked about. NVAX has been a really great trade, and we're kind of sitting right at around that 10 level. So that's another one you might want to keep on your list. Unfortunately, they're just not doing anything yet. So I can't put something on my list that I'm going to be paying that close of attention to when really at this moment I'm going to be scanning for cliff notes until we get to that 930 point because there's just not a ton that's really going on out there. All right, guys. Now, anything else out there that I missed? APOP. So that must have had a nice pop. A pop. <laughs> Ironic. All right. So, um, you know, definitely nothing going on until nine. Then we just got some, you know, pretty decent volume coming into there. Let's see what kind of prints we have. Nothing too special, but definitely right here. I like this position at 289 because it's showing that we don't really get, we haven't really gotten a lot of bigger prints that are greater than a thousand. Um, so that's a real interesting position for someone to take that much um, coming up towards those highs. So absolutely. Without a doubt. Well, I mean, there's anytime Mariola types something, guys, it's there's never a doubt. And make sure that you pull that one up. So we will put that in there. And then other than that, guys, I think that is it. So just remember, you know, right now, pre marks a little bit slow. We haven't really gotten anything that's that great that's going on out there. So we have to understand that and make sure we don't have to rush anything. Remember yesterday, if you didn't trade anything and besides INO, you had a phenomenal day and it took all the way into the afternoon. So there's no reason to rush anything. We'll get those show of hands. Let's make sure that we're focusing on what's going to help our trading most drastically. Okay, we're focusing on our habits and let's get ready for our morning. I will talk to everyone in the chat and happy trading.